For the past 95 years, the original rainbow cone has been Chicago's favorite ice cream. This is just a very famous neighborhood place that we grew up coming to. For me, it just brings back childhood memories. I feel very fortunate now to bring my kids here. Joseph Sapp opened the Southside Ice Creamery in 1926. Since then, dessert lovers of all ages have lined up out the door from the hottest to coldest of days. Now, third generation owner Lynn Sapp operates the ice creamery. So original Rainbow Cone is very unique because it's a sherbet and ice cream combination. And back in 1926, you could buy a whole plate of food for a dime. He was asking that for an ice cream cone. So that's where he came up with the five flavors. He had to give you some substance to the ice cream. The cone is comprised of chocolate, strawberry, Palmer House, which is cherry walnut, pistachio, and orange sherbet. I've been coming here for about 25 plus years. The best way to eat it is going all around and up and over and all around. <laughs> Any way you want to eat it, it's all delicious. This cone has been around for almost 100 years, and it hasn't changed at all. So I'm expecting this to taste extremely old-timey and kind of like classic, like just American classic. I want to try all the flavors together first. It's like creamy and fruity, and you still get chocolate. I thought originally that this wasn't really gonna work because orange and chocolate and pistachio, like kind of all together, I felt like it was just gonna be a weird medley of flavors. But I mean, it's been around for a century and it's famous, so of course these flavors work, and they do. So Original Rainbow Cone scoops about over a thousand rainbow cones a day. The flavors have remained the same since 1926, Little things have changed, but the formula has stayed the same and the flavors are the same. Actually, there is a, a customer that's 100 years old and has been here since the beginning. It's amazing to me that like this was created back in like 1926 and it still channels that inner childhood that I had back in like the early 90s, if that makes sense. This is just like nostalgia in a cone. And it just so happens to be extremely pretty and Instagram worthy.